Welcome back you guys to another one of my videos doing a Transformers video right here haven't done one in a while and in this Transformers video we're going to be talking about Bumblebee's status as a reboot of the Transformers series now when Bumblebee came out a, a month and a half ago in December the big question coming out of it was all like okay is this movie a, this is definitely a prequel but is it sort of a soft reboot also because there was enough different elements continuity wise so it's all like is this line this isn't lining up perfectly with the transformers films that come along chronologically afterwards so we've been speculating about that since the movie came out transformers fans and it seems like we finally have our answer regarding if the film is a true reboot or not at this year's new york toy fair um hasbro came out and said that Bumblebee is the starting point for a new storytelling in the Transformers universe. And people have come out and pretty much confirmed that it is a reboot of the series. So yeah, there we have our answer regarding whether Bumblebee is a reboot or not. It is a reboot is what Hasbro is going with. And the thing is, I always thought that the movie initially when it was being produced, they designed it in a way to like, okay, we're going to have enough elements to say we could call it a prequel to the Transformers film series so we can sell it as that. But we're going to put enough stuff that differentiates us. So like, okay, if we really gonna want to go the reboot way, we can do it. And it's not surprising they went the reboot way, given how the reception of the Transformers films went along as they continued being made, culminating in the last night being a financial and critical disaster. I think Bumble with Bumblebee, they're all like, you know what? This is our chance to start fresh. Wash our hands clean of the mess Michael Bay made and just go on with sort of a new storytelling universe that's what hasbro just said because to the amazement of most critics and most fans bumblebee ended up being a big critical for success getting 93 percent on the rotten tomatoes a lot of fans really enjoyed it a lot of critics enjoyed it saying it was sort of a new sort of a transformers that sort of turned the corner and also it ended up being in terms of financially it didn't do great but i don't think hasbro and paramount was expecting this movie to be great because it being a spin-off and coming off the last night, they're all like, you know, we're just hoping it does respectable. And it ended up doing respectable business. It ended up making $450 million on a $130 million dollar budget. So it ended up being profitable. It ended up doing pretty decently well. Like I said, for a spin-off, those aren't bad numbers at all. And considering it had to go up against Aquaman, Mary Poppins, and Into the Spider-Verse during the holiday time, those were some decent numbers right there. So... Yeah, them going the reboot way, not surprising at all. And in terms of spoilers for Bumblebee, as soon as the end of Bumblebee came around and Optimus was on Earth, I'm all like, okay, there's no way this really is going to be lining up with the Transformers films that have to come, Transformers 1 specifically. So yeah, them going the reboot way uh, officially sort of puts the nail in the coffin of the old Transformers films uh, continuity or, or mainly us ever getting Transformers 6. So yeah, that universe is done. But to be honest, I already said my goodbyes to that universe last year. Just because with all the news that had come out about Transformers 6, it just was not looking good. So I'm like, okay, that story is sort of largely done. So the last night is sort of how we're going to sort of end things uh, regarding that universe. And it kind of sucks, but you know what? Oh, well, they had their chance to make good movies and largely uh, didn't really do so well. So, yeah, with Bumblebee, I'm hoping the next film is sort of a proper Transformers film ensemble, not just like a Bumblebee 2 focusing on him again, but let's get all the sort of Transformers main characters that we want to see now that this is officially a reboot, uh, bring in the main cast of Autobots, our main cast of Decepticons, go on from there. Whether it's going to be set in the 80s again, I don't know. Whether it's going to be set in sort of more modern times, I, I, I would be fine with that also. But largely, let's just do another sort of proper Transformers ensemble film is the next film I want to see, and not just a direct Bumblebee 2. It can, of course, have elements like Charlie. She can come back. Uh, but let's have a proper Transformers ensemble film for our, the next Transformers film. And what I do question is that is Transformers, in terms of the movie universe, its popularity, is it ever going to get on that level, the sort of box office that those first few Transformers films got to because transformers films before the mcu films came around and do the kind of money they're doing now transformers was sort of the big money maker of those mid 2000s and late uh, late 2000s those movies just did huge money just big time money and obviously things sort of went down with the last night but transformers is just sort of tough to see things uh coming back to that level just because how things are 
with the un movie universe right now. But I feel like Bumblebee did a huge, a whole lot of goodwill in terms of sort of bringing Transformers back to respectability. So if they can do a Transformers ensemble film as the next film, and it can be like that critical success as well as being that sort of having that big blockbuster feel, uh, feel then I feel Transformers can get back to that those uh, height levels that the previous Transformers films were in terms of popularity and can even be better because these can be better well received. And we'll see if Travis Knight comes back. It's not looking too good because he says he wants to move on to Leica. But Paramount seems to be pretty uh, pretty much a go on doing sort of uh, more Transformers films in this current new universe. So, yeah, there's our news right there. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we'll see if we get any more Transformers news coming up. And I'll see you all around with another video.